How's it going YouTube? Michael here. Today I'm going to be making a video about showing you guys how to uh, flash your BIOS using a USB stick on one of the new 2011 uh, ASUS boards. Alright, so first of all you're going to need a USB stick, obviously. Uh, put that in your computer. Oops, there we go. Um, it, it's been pretty difficult figuring this out. I've called tech support and nobody was able to help me. But anyway, um, once you got your USB stick loaded, uh, make sure it's completely clear of all files or whatever. Um, make sure it's formatted to 32 uh, fat or 16 fat. And you can do that by going to my computer, right clicking it, and hit format. And then you can change the format to, well not on this particular flash drive, but on my other flash drive, you can change it to 32 fat. Uh, this one's a USB 3.0, 64 gigs. But anyway, uh, once that's done, you're going to want to go to the ASUS website, download the latest BIOS, um, which is right here. So right now I'm using the P, oops, it's not focusing. But I'm using the P9X79LE. Uh, by the BIOS version I'm flashing to is a 4407. Um, you take that file out of the zip folder, which is right here. So that's the BIOS file. You take it out, you put it in your flash drive, but you need to rename it. All right. So uh, remove all the dashes from it and you can delete the 4407. After that, take your flash drive that only has that .cat file on it and plug it into the back of your computer right here. Uh, this one has a little rectangle around the USB port. You can't really see it, but anyway, uh, there you go. A little rectangle around the USB port that says um, USB BIOS flashback underneath. So you need to plug your USB into there. After that, while the computer is powered off, hold your BIOS um, flashback key. Hold it down for three seconds. Right next to it, a green light will start flashing. After that, your BIOS should be flashed. Thanks for watching. All right, my bad. So after the three second thing and the you see the green light flashing, uh, just wait for it to stop flashing. That Well, that's what I did. Anyway, after that, turn the computer on. It will do this. It says BIOS is updating. Finally, I can see stuff on the screen, which I didn't see before. Now it's shutting down like it said it was going to do. And I should be able to install Windows now, which is great. <laughs> um, and the reason why I had to update the BIOS is because I got this i7 um, 4930K, which is the new IV Bridge series, and the BIOS on the motherboard is not updated to support that, even though on Newegg, uh, for this motherboard, that it says that it is IV Bridge compatible. So yeah, it is IV EIV Bridge compatible, but you have to upgrade it yourself. Anyway guys, thanks for watching.